Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how to install the current MongoDB version on Windows 11. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type MongoDB and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it. We have reached the official website. Here it is. Now guys, click on products menu. Here in all the versions, all the MongoDB products are visible. We want the free version, open source. Click on it. We have clicked the community edition. Here it is. Community edition. Okay, community server. Now go below. And click on select package. The current package is visible the following and for 64 bit MSI package installer package which is fine click download. Now the download will start here it is. Okay, let's wait. We have downloaded the installer file. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. Now the setup started click next. Accept the turns click next. To setup type, go for the complete one since we are uh, installing for beginners. Click complete. Service configuration is visible. Keep it as it is. The service name is MongoDB. Log directory will hold your logs. Click next. MongoDB Compass is a UI to run MongoDB. I'll uncheck it. Click next. Click install and the installation will begin. Installation completed. Click finish. Now guys go to C drive. Here and go to program files. Then search for MongoDB. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. Double click. Go to server. Then 7.0 bin. And here in right click and copy this path. That's it. Minimize, go to start, type environment variables. That's it. And here it is. Edit the system environment variables. Click open. Now click environment variables. Under system variables, go to path and double click on it. Click new, right click and paste the same path. That's it. Click OK. OK. And the last OK. That's it. Now what we need to do guys. We need to install the shell also. That is the MongoDB shell. Why? Because uh, the MongoDB shell that is Mongo SH is used for interacting with MongoDB deployments. Okay, so we will install it separately now. Go to the... You can directly go to here. On Google type MongoDB shell and press enter. It will directly take you to the download. Click here. Now you have reached the shell download, MongoDB shell download, which is fine. Go below. Okay. Here in the package is visible MSI. Fine. Click download. Now the shell will download. Here it is. Let's wait. We have downloaded. Right click and uh, click open. Minimize. Now install the shell, click next. Here and install for all the users. Okay, click next. Click install. Now it will begin and complete the installation. Click finish. Now go to start, type cmd. Click open. Here and let us verify the installation. Mongo d space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here you can see the version is visible. That means we successfully installed it. Now how to begin? Now you would be wondering how to start with MongoDB and type our first command. For that uh, you need to go to start and type cmd again. Click open. Okay, now here in we will use the Mongo shell that is Mongo sh and press enter. 
that is mongo sh and uh, press enter now this will begin the shell here it is okay now guys uh, what we need to do type the command show dbs to check the current databases here it is the current databases are visible okay now to create a new database you need to use the use command use space let's say my current database is amit db press enter this will switch to db amit db you are inside your amit db okay so to create a collection use db dot db dot create collection command and within that mention the name of the collection let's say i'll add uh, let's say i'll add students okay now i'll press enter so this will be a collection of students under amit db database okay one means the following so in this way guys we can easily work around mongodb if you want to learn more about uh, the other commands that is entering data in our collection and other stuff adding documents you can refer the link in the description of this video thank you for watching